ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 4th day of March. Colder air taking over Alabama after another stormy pre-dawn period. Let's go to some sky cam shots at mid-afternoon. Wraparound clouds, very evident across the northern half of the state. There's a look at the sky over Birmingham. The sky mostly cloudy. Uh, we've got upper 40s at our sky cam in downtown Birmingham. A definite air mass change from early this morning. Uh, down the road a bit, there's a look at our Shelby County sky cam coming from the Wingate Inn looking north. They're in uh, north Shelby County. And way down south, the sun is shining on the Alabama Gulf Coast. In fact, look, a lot of cars down there. And before you know it, the spring break crowds will be showing up. It's that time of the year. Water vapor satellite imagery, cold core upper low, rotating through western Tennessee, western Kentucky, and southeast Missouri. In advance of that, some big storms are rumbling off to the uh, east. There's a look at the visible satellite imagery. Pretty amazing, that dry slot there, the sky perfectly sunny from the western suburbs of Atlanta down to Auburn, Opelika, Montgomery, Troy, Greenville, not a cloud in the sky, but you get over to uh, Birmingham and Tuscaloosa and points north and west, it's uh, cloudy as could be with a few breaks in the cloud cover. There's the uh, national radar composite, and we've got some wraparound snow going on back in the cold air sector of the uh, storm and storms in the warm sector. And look at that, a moderate risk of severe weather for the rest of this afternoon and tonight through parts of eastern Georgia and a large chunk of the Carolinas and southern Virginia. They could see a few rotating storms over there. They'll be watching the sky carefully. Uh, but moving on, this is the QPF map. This is the expected rain through Sunday morning at 6 o'clock. And, of course, the heavy-duty stuff off to the east with a storm today. The next system, Thursday night into Friday, could bring some light rain or light snow to parts of the deep south. And it uh, looks like precipitation with that one should be pretty much on the light side. And let's don't forget, pretty big snowstorm going on today. This is the uh, snow outlook today. Snow falling, uh, the heaviest from uh, just south of St. Louis up to Detroit. And look at the freezing rain and icing. That's messy. A large chunk of Ohio, northern Pennsylvania, a large part of interior New York State. Big old ice storm. Mercy me, it's been quite a winter for those folks up there. Let's go through modeling. This is the 12Z GFS valid at noon tomorrow. The uh, short wave that brought the severe weather this morning is rotating up through New England. And we're watching the second one back in the Four Corners region, but uh, we'll be in between, so a nice day tomorrow. Uh, around the freezing mark to start the day, highs in the upper 50s. Thursday, here comes the next system uh, getting its act together off to the west. At the surface on Thursday, we'll still be in good shape. Uh, should be a, a partly sunny day with a good chance we'll see low, maybe mid-60s on Thursday, a nice warm-up. But then Friday... The trough begins to phase up. The axis is still off to the west, and a wave forms on a front down to the south. Now, this is the GFS depiction at noon on Friday. It's got the surface load near Tifton, Georgia, and uh, the associated uh, snow with that would be north of that blue line, generally speaking. That's the freeze line at 5,000 feet, and the GFS has that thing running through about Decatur and Russellville, so that would suggest a chance of some snow for the shoals and points north over Tennessee and Kentucky and back into Arkansas and North Mississippi. But the NAM is colder and wetter. Uh, it's got the surface low uh, again over north central Florida, and it's got the freeze line almost down to Birmingham. And uh, again, that would suggest the chance of a few snowflakes uh, from Birmingham north and west. Now, understand, we're early in the game here. Uh, we, we were just coming off a big event this morning. It's typically good to get a few runs under your belt before you feel too confident about any specific solution. And in terms of accumulation, even if we do have snow, you, you just can't be too bullish on that because the top soil is relatively warm and surface temperatures here should be above freezing when this is happening. This is a daytime deal on Friday. But nonetheless, it's fun to watch, isn't it? And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, the trough rotates on to the east, and uh, that's suggesting kind of a cold and blustery day. Highs only in the low and mid-40s. Now, this run not as cold as the run we had this morning. And then Sunday, after a cold start, probably below freezing, will warm up to near 60 Sunday afternoon. Monday of next week, the weather looks calm and dry, and Tuesday looks pretty decent. 
But we'll go out a couple of days. Uh, this is Thursday of next week, a, a trough rotating north of the state. That's suggesting a pretty good-looking rain or storm event there. This is March 13th. That'd be a big snow for Indianapolis if that verifies. And some good rain down here. And the wave train continues. Let's kick it out three days, March the 16th. A deep trough. Looks wet there, maybe stormy. Snow for Arkansas and Missouri. Kick it out three more days, March 19th. Another Vortmax. Another precipitation threat. And, yeah, how about a little bit of a mid-March snow there for North Alabama? But, hey, you know what this is. It's absolute voodoo at this stage of the game. But, again, that's just the message that it looks like the weather pattern will stay very active. So, as we've talked about for weeks here, no dull moments in this weather office. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. That's alabamawx.com if you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes. And uh, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Don't forget to catch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.